So you're probably wondering why I'm driving around in the dark. It's actually early morning here in Florida and I'm picking up a friend who wants to head to spring training. And so we're hitting the road nice and early. There he is now. Hey bud, you ready? Been ready. Uh, I'll see you in two seconds. All right, perfect. Morning, Slugger. Hey, how are we doing? Good, man. How are you? Chilling. You ready? Yeah, you look good. Right, awesome. Let's go. Thank you. Oh, bright-eyed, bushy-tailed. Bye. <laughs> Love you, too. Conveniently, my aunt walked in right there. Oh, good. Yeah, that's, that's her back there. That really is your aunt. That really is my aunt. <laughs> that's so funny. All right. So, obviously, Pete, last year was one of the greatest in history for baseball, for yourself, for Mets, for just fans in general. And, and you know what you did. But some of the excitement that you may not know about is a lot on the radio, Mets radio. Mm -hmm. And they're, to me, they're some of the best broadcasters in the world. I don't know if you ever heard this, but here's your very first home run. Second rider to the belt, his first pitch. Alonso crushes one in the air, deep to right center. This is career home run number one for Pete Alonso. A three-run homer to right center field. Pete Alonso with a personal milestone and a huge one for the New York Mets as they've gone in front of the Marlins. Seven to three, four runs are in in the ninth inning. Alonso pounces on home plate with the biggest swing of that young man's life. <laughs> yeah. I just play wiffle ball and I get amped up when I when I relive things. So does something like that, does that get you amped up and ready to go for the new season or Oh yeah. But looking back on it, like yeah. I knew it was a really big deal at the moment, but with time going by, how significant that was for me, that was that was crazy. Like to me that it just means that much more. That's, that's Tomas Nito right there. Oh, that's Nito? Yeah. Oh, Senor Nito. What's up, fellas? What up? How you doing? Are you guys having a fun? Yeah, yeah, we are. <laughs> you might be having more fun than us. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you over there. You're kind. <laughs> we got great content this morning. We got, you got my aunt coming out of the hotel. That's right. And we got and we got teammates right there on the left. We got That's teammates perfect. right on, right there, ready to go. Like it was supposed to happen. All right. Well, I don't know about this one. As a Mets fan, to go past Hunley, because I remember Todd Hunley. I got to meet Todd Hunley mm -hmm. on the Saturday Night Live days, and he would come by Saturday Night Live. This was a moment that I think all Mets fans went, "Oh my gosh." Darvish serves up a bunch, first pitch. Oh, Darvish. Alonzo, it's a high fly, right center. This could be the record. Castellanos back, it's long gone. A home run, number 42. And Pete Alonzo has set the New York Mets single season franchise home run record with a long bomb to right center. I remember this one. Have a one nothing lead and Big Pete continues to rewrite history. Every time we played the Cubs, they looked like a World Series contending team. Did you feel you guys were? I wasn't focused on getting the World Series from where the hole we were in. For us, it's like we were a very similar team to the Nationals. Fight every every chance you can because yeah. you never know what can happen once you're there. Yeah. Darvish had his good stuff going. He's throwing like two seamers from hell. He's throwing his, his cutter was on. But thankfully enough, I he gave me exactly what I was looking for. I was looking for a cutter out over the plate. I sat on that pitch, and then as, as soon as I made contact, I'm like, bang! I'm, and, I was like, wow. And do you feel, as soon as you hit it, is that, you feel it, don't you? The ones that you don't feel, that's when you know you hit it flush. That's when you know it's like, oh, man. Yeah. You don't feel the ball on the bat, but you get this, it's this sensation throughout your entire body. That's, that's it. You played ball your whole life? Yeah, since I was 30. When did you think you could make the major leagues? I never thought I couldn't. 
Oh, I love that. Because for me, I, I put, you know how everyone says, don't put all your eggs in one basket. <laughs> yes. But I put all my eggs in one basket. I, I agree with you a thousand percent because when I wanted to do stand-up comedy, my mom was like, oh, you, 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 how are you gonna survive? And uh, it was Eddie Murphy on a talk show and he turned the camera and he said, don't listen to your mother. He said, do everything 100%, 100%, no matter what. And I did too. I said, people ask me, what would I do besides this? I don't know. I, I have no clue because I right. never even gave it a thought. Never gave it a thought. I love that, Pete. You said this is what I'm doing. That's it. Case closed. I couldn't picture myself doing anything else. So I, I wrote a paper when I was in like, seventh grade saying like how I'm like this like like a baseball savant but I think I was because I because <laughs> like I all I did was eat and breathe like baseball I mean I played other sports at that time I played football across basketball and, and, and soccer it's at like throughout my life I love love playing sports I love playing but baseball it's like I've always had just such an affinity for it so this one history maker yeah. This is one of my all-time favorite calls, and I don't know if you ever heard it. Check this one out. Okay. Balls in one strike, pitch. It's it high in the air, right center field. Hamilton looks back. He's at the wall. He leaps. It's gone! Home run! Number 53! And Pete Alonso stands alone as Major League Baseball's rookie home run king. As Pete Alonso has done what no rookie in Major League Baseball history has ever done. 53 home runs. <laughs> That's yeah. Crazy. That's crazy. At this point, we were definitely out. And I'm looking at the start of this game, I'm like, like, there's no way. There's no way that this is, like, this many people came. Oh, yeah. It's like, it's... And that says a lot. The last time I saw that was when Dwight Gooden would pitch. We would literally count the days. When is he pitching? Right. And we got to cut out of school. Right. And we got it. We're going to that. That gives me goosebumps knowing we were all waiting to see if he would pull this off. And you know what the greatest part about it was? The other guy that held it was a Yankee. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to have that record, it's like, you know, it's crazy. But. To be honest with you, I hope someone breaks it. Because for me, I, I want someone to experience that. It seemed like you lived that the entire season. The whole season, you just, you looked like you were at a, the greatest theme park in history. And you just couldn't believe you had tickets for being here. Yeah. Because you enjoy moments. I see you get the crowd riled up. I see you get all hopped up, but yeah. still, you say humble. Even they sitting here watching you now, they see the little twinkle in the eye and you want it. I don't, hey, I'll do it for you. I own the record! I own the record! I broke the record! All time! Sick! You throw me inside! Why would you throw me inside? No, you don't throw Pete Alonso inside. Bang! I know you feel that inside. That's what I love about you because Although people love that, you still, you keep it, you yeah, keep it here. Right. To make that many people happy just hitting a baseball, it's, it's, it's crazy. Bigger, it's bigger than baseball. It's yeah. a moment in life. It's what we cheer for. It's, a, it's the hero to get us out of our lives. Whatever it's going on in life, we look at you, we look at baseball as something to get away from it. Oh, thank you. We are here, my friend. Perfect. Look at that, like a glove. Well. I guess I gotta go. Yeah, They don't have a uniform for me. I mean, I'm sure you could, I'm sure if you asked and, and worked that out. It might. Yeah. All right, Pete, have a good one. Oh, thanks, Joe. Have a great season. All Thank the you. best to you.